is the Nueva School. Part of Nueva's philosophy is hands-on learning. So rather than just talking about some things, we put them into action. That's part of what they have done here with the green architecture and all the sustainability. We don't have a ton of plants around Nueva. I mean, we have some and they're drought resistant, which is great. And so we thought about some sort of artistic way we could contribute to the aesthetic beauty of Nueva's campus while also sustaining the ecosystem. Today we're doing a seminar on sustainable design in the high school. The students come up with a variety of different solutions to the existing building that actually will make it more sustainable. First we learned about the things that made our school sustainable, and then we went forward and created our own original ideas around the concepts of sustainability. Each one of these ideas implemented sustainability, that's how we interpreted the prompt. We approached an idea and then decided... So the idea here was not to use really super fancy building systems or technologies, but to try to get the most that we could out of very straightforward, simple, standard uh, building technologies. So a good example is that uh, we created a series of light and air chimneys that bring daylight to the center of the space and also allow the ventilation to occur. No, no way it doesn't have a new school smell. When you smell a new school smell or a new car smell, you're smelling the paint giving off a toxic fume. So it's, it's interesting learning and knowing about that stuff because I would have no idea what that smell actually is. So these colorful sunshades that you see here have multiple purposes. They protect from the solar heat gain during the day. They actually also act as wind scoops to enhance natural ventilation. The walls to our classroom open up to the outside. So when our science teacher doesn't want to blow anything up, sometimes we come out here and set up the big shields and explode small items. It's very fun. The photovoltaic array is very much on display as part of the exterior architecture. Underneath this, the cars are parked. There's a living roof on top of that that provides both sustainability, plants and a garden, but also a great space for the students. The stormwater on the site is filtered in biofiltration gardens, but after filtering, then the water is directed to the community-wide stormwater retention pond, which also has a great advantage of providing new habitat for indigenous species. One of the things we really appreciate about the location here in Bay Meadows is the access to public transit. Well north of 50% of our students uh, and a significant percentage of our faculty and staff rely exclusively on public transit or our private uh, shared transportation services to get to and from school every day. Most of us take Caltrain. There's almost entire cars full of uh, Nueva students just due to the mass of students that get, gets on. And of course it's much better for the environment since we're not all driving our own vehicles. It's a very Nueva kind of thing to do to have the design thinking and I remember when they were first designing the high school we had this meeting with the architects and they're like okay what do you guys want in your high school and we're like trampolines. But learning more about how everything works was empowering. We don't think that this will like drastically change the world, but it's a good way for our new community to begin thinking about our effect on the environment and how we can make that more positive.